Hello students and welcome to week 13 of the class. Um, this week we are going to be reading together um, the play A Streetcar Named Desire by Tennessee Williams. Tennessee Williams is certainly one of the greatest Southern writers. Um, and this play has a, a special place in the heart of many Louisianans in that it is set here. Um, but it is a play about um, the changes in the South, among other things, that that we have already discussed. Um, uh, and one of the things that surely is true by the time that the play is written in the 1940s is that the world in general is being transformed. And also um, after World War II, uh, the South is being transformed. Um, many would say very much for the better. It is more in uh, inclusive and, and integrated. The class system is less rigid. The world of barn burning by William Faulkner that you read earlier has largely receded to a more cosmopolitan attitude, particularly in the cities, which is not to say there isn't plenty of uh, injustice to, to fight at that time, uh, but rather there is a change uh, in that direction. The play is also uh, about um, the complications of of sex and madness. Uh, as I mentioned in my last uh, lecture, uh, or I think it's maybe on this page after this, I talk about madness in post war protagonists, post-World War II protagonists in American literature. A lot of writers are talking about this. You certainly heard that in Allen Ginsberg. My goodness, Howell is just a, a list practically of reasons a person might go crazy after World War II. Do what you like with that. But as I say to you in this other lecture, it's a way to look at what the society, what the author is indicting in the society. And one of the things that is being indicted is um, the destruction of the fragile soul, but also uh, the brutality of the society toward people who do not fit into its heteronormative sexual uh, realm. I don't think I'd be shocking you if I told you that Tennessee Williams was gay. In case you didn't know that, Tennessee Williams was gay. He was famously gay in New Orleans, among other things. Um, and Blanche Dubois, who is a woman, is also uh, someone who reaps the consequences of, of sex and has a complicated, messy marriage that goes very sour and she doesn't have a vocabulary to talk about it. Uh, she kept, basically, she catches her husband in in uh, a sexual uh, situation with another man, not uh, knowing what to say or do. I, I think that we live in such a, uh, I think even the ability to say these words out loud would not have existed in Mississippi where the, 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 the character of Blanche Dubois is supposed to have lived. Uh, she could not have simply walked in the room and said, oh my God, are you gay? Because there wasn't, a vocabulary that people had to be able to even discuss this problem. And Tennessee Williams, he writes about the, these problems in a way that doesn't address them by giving them words, but giving us the situations and allowing us to understand them as we choose. Uh, uh, repeatedly in Tennessee Williams' work, we see uh, the brutality of life versus fragile female characters who are at once um, broken and magnificent. And I think that that can be said of Blanche Dubois. Um, I think that you will recognize the geography of this place, even if the world has changed, I would say, for the better. Uh, New Orleans has changed, I would say, for the better since this play was uh, written about it. Um, and I think it's magnificent. Oh my God, the writing is so beautiful. It's so beautiful. You're going to have such a delight. I want to tell you, if you can, see 
the black and white film starring Marlon Brando, apart from the fact that he is seriously a good looking man. It's so well acted. It's so beautiful. Um, I can't recommend it enough uh, as, as a, a film version. Uh, if you can't, uh, I've got the script uh, on uh, the Moodle tab here. You'll want to download it and read it. And then you have a question to answer about it after you've listened to the lectures and done the work. There's a discussion forum.